I can't imagine what my life would be like if I never met Jill. It goes both ways, Jack. You want some of these? My name's Jill Wells. I'm an Iowa-based artist. I'm an advocate and a mentor, and I have a studio in Des Moines at Mainframe Studios. I would describe myself as a narrative artist. My inspiration comes from everywhere when I create art. That could be a scent, that could be a sound, it could be an injustice, something that troubles me deeply, and I move to create a work that responds to that. Just to unpack a little bit about the Freedom of Expression project, this project is specifically focused on accessibility and inclusion in and through the arts profiling 10 artists who identify to be living with one or more disabilities. They're all Iowa-based artists here in the community. These artists are truly using their arts and their voices to talk about the work we have left to do when it comes to creating an accessible world. Did you start with this piece on the project, Jack, or did you start with the smaller pieces? I started pieces? with the thickly layered piece with the butterfly on it. Okay. Jack Marin is an abstract artist working with the Freedom of Expression Project. Okay, I've always wanted to do like an Aurora Borealis butterfly, combine the two into one piece. Right. Jack's work is all about color, shape, and movement. What I love about art is it goes deeper into people's minds than words do. It's a way to express yourself. He inspires me to dive even deeper into texture and reusing materials. He's quite fantastic about that. Where I might have a tendency to look at something as garbage or discard it, he has a tendency to look at that as art and find a way to reuse it and make something very beautiful. This one was a pour paint petal. Let me see. Look at those tiny turquoise and neon purple cells I got in that. Very delicate. I know. Yeah, and it kind of feels like a, a crackle. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, look at how thick I get the paint on some of these. <laughs> <laughs> when I talk with Jack, he talks a lot about how art allows him to open up a dialogue with his community and address some of the things that people have said to him or that he's experienced over time that are connected to the disabilities that he's living with. As a person living with a disability and a brain injury, when people would tell me that I wouldn't be able to make it in life as an artist, it made me stronger. Like the, you know, the saying, what doesn't kill you? Makes you stronger. Yep. Jack is a great example of how individuals thrive when they are connected with their community and doing what they love to do. People have always looked at people who have disabilities as broken. We're not broken people. I hope this makes people realize how strong we truly are. He loves to talk about his work, so he's just naturally skilled at connecting with the community. I made this Aurora Borealis mountainscape painting. I always want to combine Aurora Borealis with butterflies, and I would not have this installation today if it weren't for my amazing mentor, Joel Wells. The desire for me to make art more accessible really comes from a personal family experience. When I was in high school, my brother suffered from a brain aneurysm. And because of where it was, it was the cause for the loss of his eyesight. It really started to hit home for me that I was creating work he could no longer access. It was more of a passive experience. It needs to be described to him. I'm a 42-year-old BIPOC female, and I have short black hair. I'm wearing a floral print and black shirts, black slacks, and black shoes. So there's a lot of barriers for him with visual arts. There's a lot of reasons why I care about the inaccessibilities of our world. Inaccessibility affects all of us, and I do not want to look back on my life with regret and knowing that I was blessed with the opportunity and the abilities to do something about these things that troubled me, and I made a choice not to do it. One of my greatest goals is that 
The artists that are working within the Freedom of Expression Project are supported into the future by our community. So that's what I'd like to see for Des Moines, supporting artists that are living with disabilities or celebrating successes from individuals who are marginalized. That changes who we are as a society and as a people. That is the heart of what we're here to do on this earth. Celebrating that is the truth and the fruit of life.